When you worry, you make it double, don't worry. Is that your new tape? Star-Lord? Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm-hmm.
Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, he'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> oh! Peter! We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Hitting those dingers, George, and you'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. Fingers are still cramped from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. I caught this. That maiden show was awesome. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. Hope mom wasn't joking about seeing Star Lord. Yeah, if they ever decide to play out here in the boonies. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game? Some barn I turned out to be. Need to build up my calluses. Drax, 
You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. the junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic coordinate in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. It's only illegal if Novacore finds us inside, which they won't. Roots right to be nervous, Rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacore. Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the galactic police? They've got the numbers on us. But they ain't got the brains. Ha! Sure takes a genius to catch my ship. My ship? Who said that? Quill! No, I think I heard him. Nah, never mind. Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Manual brushing is where it's at. There you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <sighs> arrested? If they catch us, they'll shoot us on spot. <gasps> Out here, on the frontier, cops don't have time to arrest people. I am Groot. <laughs> Relax, bud. Novacore ain't the type to shoot first. Arresting folks is their whole thing. That and silly helmets. Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Okay, here we go. 
Rocket crew tracks, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. If we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero, four, five, one. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial into a local number generator. Info gets in, digits come out. Four of them. Yeah. Are you having difficulties, Peter Quill? Zero, four, five, one. Two, two, one, eight. No. Do not confuse him, Rodent. I am Groot. Groot says it's taken a while. I could tell. <sighs> Oops. All right, not that one. Peter, it's time! 0451. I believe the code is 0451. Zero. Oh. That display working all right, Quill? Yeah. Peter, do you need help with this? I'm good, I'm good. We gonna sit here all day? Enter the Flarkin code! Right. Zero, four, five, one. What? I'm concentrating! Are you having d- There! left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The beast that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoth 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, the place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <laughs> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Groot, Quill, suit up. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. Ground's too unstable to land a ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Number 
one done. Mora, take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Oh, oh. can you imagine? I am Groot. What, the pink goo? It's custom nano resin, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. Hey, starboard! Wrong way! You guys sure you don't need help? I am Groot. I am Groot. Nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I didn't mean toxic, toxic. More, uh, don't put it in your mouth, toxic. Uh, okay. Guess you're taking the long way now? Just... Oh! Huh. You okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This, uh... Pink resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, probably strong enough. After we sell the monster, I say we head to nowhere. Do some gambling. I am good. <laughs> you, you can't bluff your way out of a planting pot. But then, neither can Drax. Taking his share will be easy. I am good. Gamora? Oh, we'll definitely have to watch out for her. Probably got disintegrated when the ships went kaboom. Or the nano resin absorbed them. Could explain its propagation. <gasps> or the closed atmosphere accelerates decomp, and any body is just dust by now. I will require a vigorous scrubbing when this mission is complete. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous. Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... Pink goo. Ebrium-based nano-resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. Settle an argument, Rudent. What is this omnipresent pink substance made of? Oh! Look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Nova Corps free. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like, flat broke, Rocket. We need a big break. Aren't you tired of eating Yarrow Root? It's so... mealy. Listen, this is a restricted zone. Whatever monster lives here, nobody else has one. Lady Hellbender values rarity in her acquisitions. Exactly. How many of these ships did you personally destroy, Assassin? In this massive junkyard, filled with debris from both sides of the war. How do you expect me to answer that? Dishonestly. Whoa! I'm okay! Ha! Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. I told you, we ain't gonna get caught. There's only like three ships left in the entire Nova Force. Nova Corps has more than three ships. Sure, but, you know, they ain't half the space cops they once was. Can hardly keep their own peace without worrying about some old graveyard from the war. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out, just like when we started this gig. Before you-know-who joined us. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. <laughs> The three of us have had some good times. Remember the gig on Draconius? <laughs> the locals did not appreciate us hauling them onto our ship. Larkin shapeshifters, man. Never again.
Careful on that thing, Quill. You spot something out there? More blue and gold. More Novacore. Yeah, well, at least the dead ones can't arrest us. There's the mining rig. Any sign of our monster? Not yet. Peter Quill, the insubordination of the assassin has become insufferable. I'm doing exactly what we planned to do. She is also quite contrarian. We talked about this on the Milano, Drax. Try harder. that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group, you think we can find pieces of the Trion Shard in here? You never heard of the Trion Shard? That's it. Walk of shame. <sighs> of course he could know. I told him. How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. Neglected to get that info while he was flirting on Contraxia. It'll look like a monster worth selling. And I wasn't flirting, I was drinking. right through the Milano in two cycles. <laughs> Looks like they've gotten nice and fat dining undisturbed in here for 12 years. <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> nice platter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the Flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time. Ah! Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's twitching. Flarkin, scotch stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay, there's a crapped out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Hey, Drax, what makes you so sure this hell lady is gonna buy our monster? Okay, I'm crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. How much of the war did you see, Rocket? Only the bits that happened as I was doing other jobs. Great thing about a war, nobody was paying much attention. Me 
crew could do pretty much whatever we wanted. You were a profiteer. I was making the best of a bad situation. You fall into another hole, Quill? I'm, uh... Assessing stuff. If all else fails, shoot something. All right, Team Rocket, we've just set up another couple of thumpers. All you do is fly the ship. And so far, I haven't abandoned you while you're on the ground. Can't you wait until all the thumpers are set up before doing that? Well, was that you? I shot something, like you said. I've got a way forward. See? Never fails. <laughs> Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Aw, hey, little guy. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Are you dead, Quill? We can hear your wussy squeal even without the con. We're busy! Die, blobby thing! I am not familiar with this, blobby! should have seen that. It was this weird, blobby thing. <laughs> Not falling for this again. It's so jiggly! Ah, the hallmark of a swap Not funny! Hey, Gamora, make sure the Milano don't get stuck in any of this resin. If she did, I would wrench the ship free. Don't worry. I've flown worse ships through worse situations. on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. Too much. Probably to seduce Starstruck over there. Of course it worked. <laughs> 